Hello, I am Dr. Andrew Thorne, faculty member at the University of Florida, Department of Agricultural Education and Communication. During this session, we are going to focus on the results section of Divisions 3 through 6 of the AgriScience Fair Project Written Report. Using the National AgriScience Fair Handbook rubric, this section should be written in narrative form and the results of the project should be summarized. Trends should be addressed and no conclusions should be made in this section. Data should stand alone in the form of tables and or figures. In this example, you can see the yield quantities have been identified and the trends are noted. When writing the results section, only the facts should be reported. Wrongly, assumptions and conclusions are often drawn in the results section. To help with this, imagine you are on a witness stand and you can only state the facts. For example, if you see a gentleman with a ring on their left finger, on their left ring finger rather, the result is simply that they have a ring on their left hand ring finger. However, individuals will think that the result is that the gentleman is married and in reality that is the conclusion. Let me walk you through this rationale. A ring on the left ring finger is often assumed to represent marriage. However, just reporting the facts it should be stated that the gentleman simply wears a ring on their left ring finger. Later in the discussion and conclusions section, assumptions, in this case marriage, could be made. Now look at the table. This example follows APA 6th edition guidelines. Notice where periods are or are not. In italics, the title that describes the table and the placement of headings as well as units of measurement which in this case are grams per plant. A table typically includes a note that enhances the reader's understanding of the information. The note also should address any abbreviations that are made. 